what is up, you sexy beasts? Can you see me there? Hope you can. Tell you what, it's been a big week in front of a computer just editing. It's time to get out, get to the beach, take the dog for a run. I was watching my last video back and I saw my eyebrows. And I remember when I was a kid, looking at my uncle's and my dad's eyebrows and thinking, wow, those things are out of control. They are bushy. And then I uh, watched my video back and I said to myself, there it is. You've got them now too. You've got them bushy eyebrows that are just out of control as well. So if you see my eyebrows like this sticking out all directions, just like tap on, tap on the screen and say, mate, just fix those up, you know, fix them up. But yes, pretty much been shooting every day for the last two weeks and then staying up till some ungodly hours in the morning editing, uh, which I love. I love it. But today I'm taking a chill, I'm taking a chill pill today, I'm taking the dog to the beach, dropping into Reebok Crossford Gulf Coast, take some photos just for fun, not for work, just for fun of uh, Jay Crouch and Maddie Sturt, maybe see Rookie, that'll be good, and then just get home to shoot a vlog, which will be fun. No idea what it's about yet, so if you have any ideas, let me know somehow before I... Yeah, that's just dumb. That's just dumb. That's not funny, they can't. Hey buddy, you excited? I almost lost you there. Never jumps out of the car. Always wants to be helped out, so give me a like and subscribe for Chippy's Jump. So grab a large flat white please. And a almond croissant, thanks. Ooh, what was your name? Tom, thank you. Breakfast for champions, you know? See if Chip will jump in by himself. What do you reckon, Chip? It's not very high. Up. Go. Yeah, good boy. That's a first. Good boy. Good boy. What a jumper. What an athlete. <laughs> Did you guys see the um, sleep push? I oh, sleep pull workout last yeah. night. Yeah, you like it? Not really. <laughs> just I don't know. It's just all machines so far. Everything but the salt air black. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, which is cool, but don't really feel like using a machine every workout. <laughs> True. But no, it is what it is. It'll be fun. Yep. Just got to send it. Yep. Send on that one especially. Yeah. And then I think it is going to be more about the burpee box jump overs because if you got dead legs and can't jump, but I think you can use your arms, eh? Yeah, because you have your hands in the box, yeah. Yeah, because I think it'll be like one of those big foamies, maybe the big yeah, foam yeah, rogue so. one. Yeah. yeah. So it might come down that everyone will be using their arms, but it's going to be quicker to use, to not use yeah, your arms. Yeah, it's quicker not using your arms. Yeah. Little insight. Yeah. Little insight secret. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the last, the final gets released at 10 a.m. Yeah. Final workout, yeah, yeah so okay. like half an hour's time. So, yeah, I, think, I, I think saw like the it. little little pegboard drop. Little pegboard drop? Mm, I don't know. Do you reckon? Nah. Don't know. Don't know. I know. I know nothing. I know nothing. Yeah. I filmed it, but I know nothing. No, you guys will I like don't it. think. I don't think it'll be pegboard just because the story they tagged like other athletes. So I was like, yeah, probably, probably won't be. And that's yeah. Oh, well, I'd half. like to see plus, pegboard. Plus, you would? Yeah, yeah, you like it. <laughs> plus, I'll make in like plywood ones, and how would they mount? Yeah, I feel like if rig. it's all rogue, then it would be a rogue one. It would one. be like a proper... Yeah. Oh, well, you'll know in half an hour, so... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think you'll like it. It'll you'll probably like be, be a salt air bike, <laughs> uh, like heavy snatches or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, we are one minute away from the final Torium Pro workout being released. I'm here with uh, Maddie and Jay. What do you guys, um, what do you guys hope it'll be? Um, what do you more, think it'll be? More gymnastics on the rig. 
and some push-ups. What do I think it will be? Maybe some heavy overhead squats and maybe toes to bar, pull-ups, chest to bar, something like that. Ruby Maddy. Yeah, I'm hoping for something else on the rig, some more gymnastics. I feel like there's a barbell missing as well. How many barbells has there been? Buster. Amanda and then Clean and Jerk. There hasn't been another barbell, has there? Right. Three workouts with machines, three barbells. Makes sense. <laughs> Here we go. A little back scratch. Yes, yeah. Oh, that's yuck. That's, yeah. that's, been, that's, been so <laughs> that's disgusting. What is it? It'll be fine. What is it? 30, 24, 18, Chester Bar. 15, 12, 9, Thruster. 61, 43. What's that weight? 70 kgs? 75 kgs? The weight? Yeah. Final. 61, 43. Ah, okay, kind of lighter, mate. I thought you were going to go 75 kgs for the men. No, it's 70, 47. What? You must be reading someone like another... Oh man, there's so many different divisions. Oh, you're reading the I'm reading indie. Come on, mate. Fucking <laughs> hell. It's 70, 47. What? 70 kg thrusters. 30, 24, 18, chest bar pull-ups. 15, 12, 9 thruster. That's disgusting, but I love it. I'm a fan. I like it, yeah. Yeah? I thought you guys might like the pull-ups. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the pull-ups is good. I like the thruster too. No air bike. No air bike. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not air bike. <laughs> What is up, you sexy beasts? What a power couple, eh? Maddie and Jay, just young, fit couple that are just dominating. Um, Touring Pro's coming up this coming week. It's Saturday morning now, by the way, it's the next day, and I'm about to have a 40 minute workout because I haven't trained in three days. So uh, anyway, Touring Pro's coming up, and uh, I get a bit excited around events, and I normally get myself a new pair of kicks. So I've got some new fresh Metcons there for uh, the event and I'm going to put my little little heel wedges in today because I'm going to do some squatting thrusters which I despise but I have to do more of so yeah put these in there you go bit of extra heel got my active ones of the pink lenses look at those babies normally when I go running or do longer workouts I have the uh, G1M Sport from BPN just a bit of sodium carbohydrates so uh, I thought 40 minute workout Probably a good idea. Oh, that's yum. Oh, I love a fresh Metcon. Let's do this. Okay, so the workout is 40 minute EMOM. We're gonna start with squatting thrusters at 60 kgs, just to five reps. Try and tap and go those. 10 pull ups. I'm gonna start with like the traditional standard kip, you know, rather than butterfly. As the shoulders warm up, I'll go butterflies. Just 10 of those, 10 GOG sit-ups, and then 10 cals on the bike. Every minute change station. So it's four stations, 10 rounds, it's 40 minutes. So I'll end up doing 50 squat lean thrusters, 100 pull-ups, 100 GOG sit-ups, 100 cals on the bike, nothing too crazy. I might up the numbers if it gets too easy, but I think I'd rather start conservative and then up to 12 or 15 if I need to. Like I said, haven't trained in three days, so the goal today, do something a bit longer, get a good sweat up, get a bit of volume in, and have some fun. Okay, here we go. What is up, you sexy beasts? I'm the cutest, eh? The cutest. I always go and buy some new stuff and I have like an event coming up. Just don't know why. Just like getting new shoes and a couple of new pieces. Does anyone else do that? 
But uh, look at that, bit of a Jordan Nike hoodie. So yeah, if, you, if you're at the Torian and you see me out there on the floor filming, just give me a little yell. Say, nice Metcons, bro, or uh, nice hoodie, you know? Just, or just say, hey, you're cute. Something like that. Talking about cuteness, got Jay Crouch, Maddie Sturt, cutest couple in Australia, maybe in the world. How cool would it be to be a young CrossFit Games level athlete and your partner is also a young CrossFit Games level athlete, trained together, just similar passions, just must be pretty dope. I'm excited for these two. I think they'll both do exceptionally well at the Torian Pro. Don't know if you guys saw Noah Olsen's post today, but he just signed with Gymshark, which is insane. I'm so pumped that a company like Gymshark is making a move into the CrossFit space. The more of these big name brands we can get on board with our amazing athletes, the better for the sport, you know? Bring some attention, bring some money into the sport, keep uh, bring it to a level of professionalism that it needs to be at, that is not yet, but it needs to be at. I've actually got a call scheduled with Noah next week sometime, so we'll have a chat about the Puma shoes. He's not wearing Nike anymore, he's got the Puma shoes. He's now with Gymshark. Uh, he's had kidney stones just last week, so lots happening in the world of young Noah. Uh, so we'll catch up with him and see how things are going over there and how he's tracking for the semi-finals. Someone else who's been super active on social the last few days is Snorri. Snorri Baron. Baron? Baron. Sorry if I butchered that, Snorri. Um, but Snorri is an absolute legend. He runs a um, athlete management company in Iceland, and he's the manager of Sarah Sigmund's daughter and also BKG and a bunch of other great athletes. And he's just been posting all these deals that he's been signing for his athletes over the last few days, which is so exciting. So this young athlete in Canada called Emma Lawson, she's 16 years old and she's just signed with WIT. She's an up and coming athlete. And then obviously Sarah has just recently signed uh, with WIT as well, moved from Nike to WIT. I saw him post this video of BKG signing some kind of contract with a company saying business is booming. So Snorri's making moves and I just love that these managers, athlete managers, are landing these amazing deals for these athletes. My buddy Bijan over in Miami looking after Noah, Snorri looking after all his athletes in mostly the European kind of region. But I just think it's awesome to see these athletes now come under these management companies that can really help them uh, you know, push the envelope when it comes to signing cool brand deals and uh, actually making a living out of this thing. So that's exciting for our sport and for our athletes. And I really hope that we see this trend continue, see more awesome brands come into our sport, more athletes sign deals with brands that will allow them to actually train full time. Because let's be honest, that's what's required these days to be the best in the world uh, at CrossFit, at anything really. He can't be, you know, working a job and training or studying and training. Although athletes are still doing that, um, I think they would also admit that if they could just purely train CrossFit and have that be their sole focus, that they would be better athletes for it. So I think our sport will be elevated by it and we will see some uh, some young talent that who knows might surpass the greats of our time Matt Fraser, Rich Froning, Tia Claire Toomey maybe we'll see some freakish young kids um, with more freedom and more opportunities I guess than maybe the athletes of years past have had um, which will be incredible so I feel like this video is already very long so I'm going to say goodbye but I had a thought this week you know there's about two two and a half thousand of you that watch the videos on a regular basis and I thought if each one of us just introduces the channel, the vlog, to one other person, get them to subscribe, that means that we could grow by about 2,000 new subs overnight. You know, go from that kind of 6,700 mark all the way to 8K perhaps. So help a brother out. Introduce one person this weekend to the channel. I would really appreciate that. And uh, that'll really help move the tribe forwards. Guys, stay sexy, keep brewing love, and uh, see you all soon. Bye.